How much RAM do you need in 2022 for your PC running Windows 11? That's what I'm about to discuss. Hi, I'm Justin from Random Tech Videos and before I get into this video, if you want to support the channel and not miss more future tech videos, you can subscribe right below this video and like the video if you think it'll be helpful. But with that out of the way, let me get right back into the video. Back with Windows 10, one could get by with 4 GB of RAM for basic use. However, for Windows 11, you really should not consider 4 GB as it is listed as the minimum system requirement for Windows 11. Unlike Windows 10, which had a minimum system requirement of 2 GB of RAM. As a general rule, you always want at least twice the amount as the minimum system requirement for the operating system. Just Windows 11 itself needs about 4 GB of RAM to run. So that leaves no headroom for anything else. So 8 GB is the minimum you should really be looking at for Windows 11. My Windows 11 laptop averages a use of 4.5 GB when just idle. And so the remaining 4 GB is enough for stuff like like web browsing, media consumption, and just basic computer use, but not much more. So 8 gigabytes of RAM, basic computer use, not much more. 16 gigabytes of RAM is when you can start getting into stuff like gaming, for example, because gaming uses more VRAM than it does RAM in some cases. So 16 gigabytes is still acceptable for gaming. Also, if you just want to have multiple things open at once, like multiple web browser tabs, especially in Chrome, or multiple applications, 16 gigabytes of RAM should easily be able to handle most modern tasks. 32 gigabytes of RAM is what I would recommend for gaming and it's also like the minimum for doing stuff like photo editing and video editing. Video editing especially since that uses a lot of system RAM. But if you're just a gamer, 32 gigabytes of RAM is probably the sweet spot as of now. Not everyone knows this, but having too much RAM can actually increase your boot times and make it harder for your system to access all the RAM. So you don't want way too much RAM when you only need a little. Also, you don't want too little RAM when you need more. 64 gigabytes of RAM is extreme overkill for gaming and will almost never be needed. And basically anything over 16 gigabytes productivity, just general office use, you'll be fine. So that's why I'm not talking about that anymore. So for gaming, 64 gigabytes currently is basically an absolute waste. For video editing, however, this is like entry level, video editing level of RAM that you want to have. When I'm editing a 4K project, I typically see usage of like 40 to 50 gigabytes of RAM for maybe like a five or 10 minute video. It's really the entry level for video editing and also that would apply to other professional work such as 3D modeling and designing or even complex photo editing. 128 gigabytes of RAM is useful for when you need to do more intensive stuff like complex blender renders, 3D modeling in CAD, etc and also more 4K slash 8K video editing. After 128 gigabytes of RAM, basically if you don't think you need it and you don't know why you would need it, then you most likely don't need it. More than 128 gigabytes of RAM is mainly for servers, but for a PC running Windows 11, you probably won't need more than 128 gigabytes. So again, let me state what I just said in really quick terms. Four gigabytes should not be used at all. You can use like a web browser, one tab, or a Word document. 8 gigabytes, good for office and productivity use, but it's getting on the lower end and you should try to get more if you can. 16 gigabytes, general multitasking and basic gaming. 32 gigabytes, good for gaming and entry level photo editing and stuff and plenty of multitasking potential. 64 gigabytes, way too overkill for gaming, entry level for video editing and professional work. 128 gigabytes should be enough for whatever you want to do. I'm not even going to talk about RAM speed because that's a whole nother thing, but that doesn't have anything to do with what I'm talking about right now. I'm just talking about RAM amount. Anyway, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please leave a like and you can let me know what your thoughts are in the comments and also please comment how much RAM you have on your PC. Anyway, until my next video, thanks for watching and goodbye.